Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video and the videos that follow, I want to work on creating this horizontal navigation menu with drop down submenus. Okay, so this is an extra credit activity um, in the web development class. And basically, it is inspired by a local brew company uh, website. So we've got this nice little horizontal menu with a submenu dropdown. And I'd like to create this. So it'll take a little bit of work, but I think we've got it. And we're going to focus on a lot of individual little details, too, uh, besides the dropdown uh, transition effect and positioning and overall layout. Notice my menu items are various widths because we wanted to make sure that we could accommodate different lengths of menu items for that main menu stuff. So let's go ahead and get to work. Let me refresh my web page here and we'll see that goes away. So we need to start constructing. I've already got some basic styles in for the main parts, but what I need to do is go to the header of this page and put in the HTML for my nav menu. And I'm only going to focus on the HTML for the main menu first. No need to try to worry about the submenu before the main menu is created. And there we go. So this is uh, my HTML. I've got a set of nav tags. And within my nav tags, I have a set of unordered list tags. And within those unordered lists, I have a series of list items. I have six list items. Each of my list items has a dummy anchor. And you'll notice that there's also a span that contains a little uh, um, entity, HTML entity, and that's going to produce a little triangle just so people know at a glance that this menu is going to have a drop down effect. Okay, so there's my text, and notice I've got the different size text. So that's pretty good for the HTML, but really our work is going to happen up in the styling. So let's go ahead and move up in here and I'm doing internal styles just so I have a nice little one page demo but basically I want to start styling things one by one and I will temporarily put on outlines or borders just so I can visualize some stuff for instance for my main menu styles I want to go ahead and take a look at this nav and so that I can see it I'll put an outline on it two pixels solid red save that head over to my browser and refresh I can kind of see where that nav is. Okay, sounds good. But now I want to start to position because I do want this menu to be centered and I want it to be near the bottom of this header section, which means ultimately I'm going to be doing some positioning. Now my header already has position relative, so if it didn't I'd go ahead and put that in. So I've got position relative on the header and then I want to also style or position the nav. To make this a little bit easier to look at, I'm going to go ahead and take my nav unordered list. I'm going to use a child selector, get that perfect unordered list right there. And I'll do a list style type none to get rid of the bullets. I'm also going to do a nav unordered list list item. So I'm writing child selectors because I don't want to confuse any of these rules with the sub menu that's going to appear later. So list item that's a direct child of my unordered list that's a direct child of my nav therefore it's the main menu. And for this one I'll go ahead and do display inline block. Now doing that display inline block is going to get those items side by side so now I can visualize it a little bit better. So I'm going to head back over to my nav and I'm going to do position absolute. Now position absolute is going to have a pretty nice effect. Let me change my border color to yellow so it really stands out. And by putting that position absolute it kind of shrinks things up so this block element, this nav, is no longer taking up the full width. That's going to come in handy because now I can position it pretty specifically. I'm going to position it from the bottom about 0 pixels and from the left about 50%. That's going to push it a little bit too far over, but then I can follow this up with a transform translate x negative 50%. And that 50% is going to correspond with 50% of the width of the nav. So by moving it to the left, 50% of the width of the nav, it's going to center it in the space. So now I've got that nav menu in the low part of the header, but centered horizontally. Now that that's taken care of, I'm going to keep that outline on there for a little bit longer. I'm going to head down to my list items for a moment. And I'll put an outline on these. 
so that I can visualize them. And I'm going to go ahead and give them some big padding to kind of fill them, fill them up a little bit. And I'm going to do padding um, 10 pixels top and bottom, 18 pixels left and right. Probably adjust that pretty soon, but I just wanted them to be a little bit bigger and a little bit more obvious. Now I'm going to go ahead and style the anchors that are part of this parent, parent menu. Nav, unordered list, list item, anchors. Now for my anchors, I don't want to do a display block with these, but I will use that padding. So I'm going to use the padding 10 pixels and 18 pixels so that I can visualize them. Outline 2 pixels, solid, hot pink. So now I can kind of see what's going on a little bit. You can see that my list items are actually a little bit bigger than they need to be on the left and the right because of that padding. So I no longer need that padding on the left and the right of my list items. And that gets things shrunk up a little bit. But now my anchors are nice and big and chunky. So I can easily have a clickable zone bigger than the text. And that's what I want to have. I've got basically buttons going on now. And each button is a little bit wider for the wider text items, which is going to make things a lot easier. I'm going to do just a couple more things here since I've got a rule for my anchors. Um, I'm going to set the color of these anchors to be um, yeah, very light white and text transform uppercase. So now I can see them a little bit better, including I can also see those little triangles a little bit better. Let me go ahead and get rid of the text decoration. There we go, that's looking nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and take away some of these outlines so we can kind of see what's going on a little bit. And there we go, so that's the start of our nav menu. It's actually in pretty good shape, good placement and things like that, but there's still a little bit more we need to do. So we'll pick that up in the next video.